Hello everyone and welcome to the Cupra Born. I'm doing a charging test today because a week ago I did a range test with the car. I thought the battery was warm. I charged it and it only got 138 kilowatt. And as far as I know, this car should have the same charging curve, especially with software 3.0 as ID4, ID5 GTX and ID3 Pro S. And that's a peak of 178 kilowatt. And then it goes faster down, whereas ID4, ID5, a pro have a different charging curve where it goes only to a peak of 140 kilowatt but then it stays above 100 kilowatt to uh, 70 percent um, and again i thought this would have the the gtx curve and uh, it only had 138 kilowatt and today i drove the car down to 10 percent i i yoloed it so a lot of power and then a lot of regen it uh, the battery was at 28 degrees when i plugged in checked it with ev notify so uh, the, the everything should be perfect for perfect charging power and i will go into the studio and then we analyze the charging curve now i'm here at home and i analyze the footage of the charging screen and let's go through how it looked like if it any different than the skoda enyaq uh, coupe rs that i tested a few months ago which has the charging curve of id4 id5 gtx and id3 pro s and again it should be the exact same here on the cupra born 77 kilowatt hour but let's see look at the screen Starting with 167 kilowatt going up fast to 174, which is the peak. At 20% we're already at 165 kilowatt. At 30% we're at 138 kilowatt. Um, voltage is very low, 376 volt only. At 40% we have 115 kilowatt. And we go under 100 kilowatt charging power at 48%. And then after well, 50 minutes, I started at 11%. And then we're going down 74 kilowatt at 56%, under 70 kilowatt at 58%. Um, it goes up a bit, which is weird. So it goes down and bit up. And it, maybe this is because uh, the battery was too warm, 28 degrees when I started charging. The best temperature I've heard once is 25 degrees for the battery to get the best charging power. 70% only 58 kilowatt there went up a bit to 61 or so maybe again it was too warm and that's why we see it with uh, the comparison with the other charging curve that i have because here we had 65 kilowatt and i only charged to 80 percent so now i'm here with the charging curve when i put it down so we have uh, on the bottom state of charging percent and on the left charging power in kilowatt and like i said started at 166 67 kilowatt peak at 174 and then it steadily goes down till we had 49 percent have 100 kilowatt and then goes down 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 and then in the in the end it went up a tiny bit so maybe here at this part battery was a bit too warm and the cooling couldn't get get it down to the way that it wanted to and we see that very good when it putting the charging uh, comparison here so here in red we have the cupra born and in blue is the uh, charging curve that had with the skonia and uh, skoda enyaq coupe rs like i said the gtx curve where that went up to 177 kilowatt and but went under 100 kilowatt at 42 percent 42 43 here we only uh, go up to 174 and we go under 100 kilowatt at 49 percent but then the curve so you can see it's uh, under the blue curve till set 40 percent then it's above the blue curve and then it's under the the blue curve uh, till the end of 80 percent so i'm pretty sure it will monitor uh, um, um, show the exact same ending here where it will go down and then stay um, but this looks like it's still the same charging curve just the battery temperature wasn't perfect and again it's possible that when i charged uh, the the enyaq it also wasn't perfect so it, this could be the middle ground a bit cooling here a bit of thing here and that's why it's like that but it's uh, for sure 
I would say the same charging curve. It's not like in the ID4 Pro, ID5 Pro, where we have 140 kilowatt and it stays till 70% above 100 kilowatt. We don't see that here. So it is the same charging curve. Whew. <laughs> I'm happy about that because I was scared they wouldn't give the born, uh, they would give the born uh, a different charging curve, which would be mean. Uh, but I did my, my, my range test at 130 and usually so far when I drove MEB platform cars when you drive with 130 a range test the battery at the end even in deep winter is warm enough for a good charging test but I plugged in at can't remember what it was 10% maybe less and I only got 138 kilowatt and I, and I thought it's not the old with 126 kilowatt and it's not the new with 170 kilowatt so what's going on maybe I thought I thought maybe there's a middle charging curve that they decided or it has the, the ID4, ID4 Pro ID5 Pro charging curve not the GTX uh, charging curve but I'm glad it's like this so we know it. <laughs> That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.